Hi, everyone. Overall, it was a pretty solid up day slash pullback day, depending on the index you were at. Uh, volume was lower than the day before on both exchanges and below average. So there's really no need to psychoanalyze today's action. But overall, if we have to say anything, it was a good non-eventful day. S&P 500 New York Stock Exchange were slightly higher, along with the Dow Jones Industrial Average that basically led the day up 0.36%. The Russell 2000 was up 0.05%. And of course, the laggard on the day was the NASDAQ down 0.33%. But it was not a distribution day, so that's good. And volume was lower than the day before and below average. So once again, like I said, so it's great. But basically, all of that was due to one index. Now, as we look at the oscillators here really quick, you can see that while we're still kind of trending up in price, our oscillators are still working off overbought conditions. Um, I perceive that as a good thing on the NASDAQ. New York Stock Exchange, TSV looks good, but you can see the MACD below still working off that oversold. And the R Russell 2000 looks like it's ready to move higher. So we'll see what it wants to do on the next couple of days. Going over to my um, function two key and looking at the stochastics, Russell 2000, you can see that we're trying to build a bottom here on that index. The NASDAQ, as you can see, still hooking higher. New York Stock Exchange hooking higher. Dow Jones Industrial Average hooking higher. S&P 500 hooking higher. Everything looks like it appears to be a go. So right now, there's no pressure on this market whatsoever. Now, what there was pressure on was um, biotechs. IBB got slammed. The XBI, yeah, overall, but basically it was the NASDAQ stocks like Amgen, Celgene, and remember Guild from yesterday, that continued its sell-off today on huge volume. And then we did have one um, full sell signal today, HZNP. That one triggered intraday at prices higher than where we're closing. So once again, the sell stops have gotten me out at a better price and a lower loss than it would have if I had to wait to the end-of-day signal like we used to be able to do. But HZNP is a 100% sell that fails. DXCM is closing below its 20-day moving average on above average volume. That's a 25% sell. TMF, not related, is also closing below its 20-day moving average. Um, even though it's on below average volume, the chart looks kind of ugly, so that is a 25% sell. Getting back to the biotechs, AGIO is closing below the 20-day 20, 20 moving average on above average volume. 25% sell there. And then out of the biotechs, SERV is confirming its earlier close below the 20-day moving average, which is right here higher volume but it held the support levels here which was key but today's loss and uh, much heavier volume and I don't care that it, on a closing basis it's holding that support low I want to go ahead and take 25 percent off the table in case it gets uglier in that stock but for right now that is also a 25 percent sell and now getting back to the bigger cells in the biotechs SUPN triggered intraday SUPN was a 50% sell. The last sell is supposed to be down here at these lows. Remember, this is a longer-term play, but I might go ahead and decide to set that up right here below 825. And if it closes below 825, we'll re-enter SUPN when it can get back above its 200-day moving average. But SUPN is going to be a long-term performer, but I'm not going to sit here and hold it. And then if I'm wrong, watch it go down to five and be like, well, I still believe in it. I don't believe in it if it's not moving up. But longer term, this is one that we will watch again for retake of the 50 200 day moving average. But for now, I got a 50% signal moving up my sell stops on the rest. KITE was a nice long. One of the things I didn't like about it is a short pattern. Still, these stocks have been explosive in the past. One hint that this stock might want to screw me is that after my first long signal, it gapped higher, giving me a poor fill. After my second long signal, it gapped higher, giving me a poor fill. If I would have used limits, I would have gotten filled. And then today, it's not really failing, but still, I want to get out of half of the position and then raise my sell stops to ultimately below this low right here. I don't want it to go below 50, 51. And if you really want to, you can use 49.21. And I might, in fact, do that, split the rest of the position in half by the low a day here on the 17th and the low a day on the 10th with Kite. Also, um, RCPT. Remember, this is the one long I did not like because it was risky, V-shaped, and extended overall from the 50-day moving average. Looks like you got to trust that gut instinct a little bit more because it did fail. However, it's closing at 118 which is above the open of this day, which would technically be the real signal day, which it was. So I'm cheating here by buying this, but it's got the green bop volume surge, and now I'm like, damn it, I should have paid attention to that signal. So if we're going by that signal, this would only be a 75% sell, so that's what I'm going by. This is a 75% sell. 
50% was cut when it got below 125.05. So once again, sell stop saved us from more of a loss. And then we'll sell another 25% of the position, let the other 25% ride. And we'll, I'm going to go ahead and use maybe the lower day here now instead of this lower day. One, um, instead of 109.98, I'm going to use 114.43. So RCPT is a 75% sell. And then last but not least, fold, speculative stock, not a big deal. Since our long signal worked out immediately up 6%. But now it's down 7%, so now we have a slight loss. It's going to be a 50% sell, but I'm raising up my final sell stop to below the low a day of 768. And if you do remember, it was like down at 748. So 768 is the final sell stop, and we'll hold it there. See if these biotechs can't reverse, because some of them do look like, um, you know, they reverse intraday for me, and some didn't sell off like CBPO. So I just want to see if the rest of these can hold up. And this is a drug stock, but you can see it got hit and then you know guild with its tail so i just want to see if these things can hold up there were tails in a lot of these today so i just want to see if that can continue tomorrow i don't want to fully sell out rcpt or fold just yet but that's all that there is besides the excitement of the biotech which is semi-broken but not completely broken yet there's nothing else to go over merry christmas and happy holidays everyone have a wonderful time with your friends and family aloha from everyone at big wave trading